YouTubes. I'm back uh, where I did the compressor change out at the nighttime service call and I'm doing all my follow-ups and my checks and just from looking at the old compressor and then the way the new one here's what it looks like in the daytime the way the new one was running I'm pretty much convinced myself that uh, that thing flooded back and took out that old compressor um, I did pick up a suction accumulator at the parts house and I'm probably going to install it on this condensing unit. Let's get over there and take a look. All right, here we are back at the unit. It's daytime. Box is at set point. Look, you can see my condenser so clean, bro. Um, I have set the superheat on this. And uh, you guys know I washed the evaporator coils real good, but I still think this thing needs an accumulator for uh just for an insurance policy for when um if it does end up getting lack of maintenance in the future maybe it won't kill the compressor you know what i'm saying let's we're gonna i want to take a compressor superheat reading up here and uh and i want to check it out running a, a little bit here too i'm gonna go ahead and get the front grill off I usually don't mind working with, with just the grill off. Um, oh, let's see what I got in my pocket. Here it is, testo, testo action. I, Cause I want to get a compressor superheat reading. Yeah, that should, that should be pretty decent. Let these dudes boot up. I think I had the 450A going last time. Here it is. 448. I don't even know if I'm going to hang them. I'll probably just put it right down here. for her to run okay here's our accumulator we're gonna install um, I went down to the truck and grabbed it while we're waiting for uh, this unit to kick on we'll see where the uh, superheats at compressor superheat before we install her so this is a suction accumulator. You'll see them on freezer units a lot. And what this little guy is gonna do, say they do lack of maintenance and it's flooding back again and you get, and then it's liquid coming back. So instead of going to the compressor and the valves and killing the compressor, it goes down to the bottom here with the liquid. It boils off and then vapor comes out here. So you get a long tube and a short tube. Usually the schematic on here shows you, yeah. See, check it out. It's going to come back. So if it's liquid, it comes out, fills into the cylinder. And then boils off and then just vapor goes back to your compressor. And that's the job of a suction accumulator. I'm going to put it in here on this for some insurance. I'm going to put some shots up from, from the old video. And... Uh, and you saw what the, the evaporator coils look like. It was flood back central. 
and uh, so I'm going to put it in here for some insurance. In and out. And we're not talking in and out burger either. We're talking about the lines on your accumulator. No sweat, no frost, heat exchanger, suction accumulator. They're advertising another product they sell. So they sell another product that's a heat exchanger where your liquid line can come out of the condenser in and then out and you can get some pre-cooling on your, on your liquid line. Those are really cool. I've seen those all over the place. I'm actually a fan of those. Although you probably have, you don't see them in my videos. I just, I really don't, I don't do upsells or things like that. So we'll get into this. It's a real, it's going to be a super easy install. I'm going to drill a hole and we'll get a nut for this. And I'm going to cut the suction line where it's going to fit right on the outlet. Make sure I get my in and my out right. So this is our inlet. This is our outlet. I'm going to set this right into there. We're going to come out of here at the Street L90 down and over and back to this line. So somewhere in here I will, I will be drilling a hole. When we get ready to do that, I will pump the unit down from the king valve. And we'll run this and we'll pump this unit down so... Uh, we don't have to recover the refrigerant since we're working on the low side. That's what we're going to do with that. And uh, it's going to give us some insurance on this compressor here. It just kicked on. We'll let it settle down here. down so we can make our repair find up the pipe I'm gonna remark it do another little remark yeah looks like you can bury it to right there all right let's see get it right on the mark Marks get set, go. Ooh, that's about it right there. All right. And I'm gonna cut it back back here. It's kind of just an eyeball. It's not going to be like super perfect, just enough to get it out of the way. Alright, so there's our snorkel. We got that out of the way. There's already some holes in the skid. Okay, inlet, outlet, get those correct. It's gonna be close. Okay, heat it up and move it over. Sweat this ring into there. What do you think? Maybe. Let's see. Our accumulator in. We got 22, 21 for our compressor superheat. 
check it on this side. Accumulator in, TXB, man, getting that TXB adjusted was was barely getting there. And look, I'm barely at 20 degrees, 21 degrees superheat at the compressor, 20s minimum. So. With the accumulator and everything adjusted, I think this little guy's gonna be all right. I got enough compressor superheat now, barely. And I think, uh, absolutely positively sure that flooding back killed the old compressor. Um, so now if it gets, some maintenances get missed and the coil's not getting washed out super good, we got a little bit of a safety here with the accumulator. And uh, yeah, I got me some compressor superheat now. It was a, uh, it was, it was actually breeding below 20. So that's my follow-up on this job. And uh, there was a Chemtrail X over here. I'll put a picture up. trying to chemtrail me now the sky is pretty clear but oh yeah 23.3 looking better looking better it's gonna be a finally a wrap that's my follow-up on this everything's adjusted and looking good and I'm stoked NorCal in the house. Hit the like button. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video. There she is all buttoned up. I'll be back down the hole. So yeah, that that's my follow-up on that one. I wanted to put an accumulator on there. I, I was from everything I had seen, I just wanted to be a little insurance policy. You know, maintenances get forgotten about sometimes and then the coils get dirty and then that thing's gonna flood back like a big dog. Um, maybe that'll give that compressor a fighting chance next time. <laughs>